Hey guys, this is James. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe and a big shout out to all of the new subscribers we've had over the last few weeks. It has been incredible. It's been our, been our biggest couple of weeks in the channel's history. Thank you so much for coming back and enjoying the content we've got. I love Batman and I love the Ben Affleck Batman and I wanted to talk about it. Tell me. You can't keep the Snyder fans down. That seems to be something that Warner Brothers and DC are learning the hard way. Granted, the Batman is a big box office success this weekend. It's second weekend. It fell just 50%, just over 50%, which is great news for that film. And you know what? I love that movie. It is a great movie. But another movie I love is Batman v Superman. I was one of the first people to go online all those years ago and get made fun of for my love for Batman v Superman. I just watched it last night. To be honest with you, I still love that movie. I think it is a underrated, underappreciated gem of a film. But now it looks like the whole let Ben Affleck make his Batman movie, it seems like it might be gaining some traction. First, the DC delays. What do they mean for the Snyderverse? Are they going to be reshooting to bring in characters that we know from other films are they going to re-establish that canon the Snyderverse canon is that what they're doing are they working towards that then of course you have the Batman movie with Ben Affleck which was going to happen then it wasn't going to happen then Matt Reeves came in then it was still wasn't going to happen Ben Affleck came out months ago he said it was, the Justice League was such a terrible time in his life he hated everything you know he was in alcoholism divorce everything it was just his whole life was a mess at that point and of course the Justice League fiasco with Joss Whedon and Warner Brothers, he wanted nothing to do with it. But his script, we always heard how great his script was. It was one of the best Batman scripts that had ever been written. Matt Reeves is on record as saying it was a very James Bond style, but it had other characters from the DCEU that he just did not want to deal with. And I completely respect that as a filmmaker. He doesn't, if he's going to make a movie, he would like to make the Matt Reeves Batman movie, which of course is the one that we got, like it or hate it. That's the one that we got. I personally love it. And I love that he's getting the Reeves verse and the Reeves verse is a Batman centric universe. But what does that mean for the Snyderverse? The Snyderverse, I don't know if it's ever coming back. Zack Snyder, who knows? He's got his Rebel Moon going on. He's got his Army of the Dead happening. He's a fantastic filmmaker, just a great visionary. It has a wonderful mind for the worlds that he creates. Uh, utmost respect for him at all, on all levels. He's just fantastic. But earlier, there have been some, they're not leaks, but Keith Christensen, an artist, Hollywood elite artist. He did Dune, some other movies, check them all out. On his Instagram account, just all of a sudden started posting stuff that he designed for the Batman movie to be written and directed by Ben Affleck. The first one, a suit design I did for hashtag the Batman, hashtag DC Comics, comes up. And if you notice, this suit is more tactical. He did the front and the back. It's a very tactical suit, very similar to uh, Pattinson's actually, and even Christian Bale's to a degree definitely more tactical this is something that would actually work well in that James Bond version of the script that Matt Reeves claimed that we have something like this would totally work we've seen it before I kind of wish there was a little bit more color a little bit more yellow but I do like it it's it, it's not you I won't say it's unique because it has the Bale Pattinson level to it I do I love the belt I love his utility belt there the bat logo in it's pretty sweet one thing we got to touch on though is the cowl he says that he always wanted the cowl um, he always thought the cowl should be more than rubber or cloth or le leather. And this picture right here, this illustration of of uh, Ben in it, I love the the ears, the bad ears. This looks like this looks great. It's just fantastic looking. But if you just keep scrolling. You go over here. You can actually see that that the uh, the helmet component uh, comes off. He says, "What if the helmet component articulated to get it on and off contact points on the under cowl?" could connect with the tech inside the hard shell. Could have been cool. Could definitely have been cool. I love what we got with Pattinson. He gets shot in the head. He gets shot in the head. But this one also looks very cool. It looks very realistic. I, this movie, you know, could have been really something. I hope 
you gotta wonder, when things come out like this, either the movie, because the Batman movie is doing so well that this is never gonna happen, and Keith Christensen's like, you know what, this isn't gonna ever happen, we're never gonna see this, here's the art that I did for it, I have permission now to reveal this art. The other side of that, the other flip side of that coin, is what Ben Affleck did with his fight with Deathstroke. He leaked it. Ryan Reynolds leaked it for Deadpool. Deadpool got made. Ben Affleck leaked it. He didn't get so lucky. However, this could be similar. They could be saying, hey, you know what? These, these have potential. There's a potent potential for the Batman to coexist with the Matt Reeves Batman. Time is going to tell. Nothing's going to happen. The merger, the Discovery merger isn't happening until June 2023. There's a lot of time here. So they start planting these seeds early. Are, are, is there going to be traction? Is this what fans want? And one thing the Snyder fans are is resilient. And they get their way. They got the Snyder Cut. Thank goodness, because that movie is phenomenal. The Zack Snyder Justice League is phenomenal. I know the complaints is too long, but first of all, it's the Snyder Cut. So let him have carte blanche on that cut. The other thing, too, is it was on streaming. You know, let it go. And the third one is if it was theatrical, you'd imagine it would be shorter. There wouldn't be a lot of those little unnecessary elements to it, which I actually personally love. I think sometimes, I don't even like long movies, but sometimes you gotta let these moments breathe. You gotta have fun with it. You gotta have a good time. And I really appreciate that in the Snyder Cut. I just loved it. I loved his imagery, the visions. Like I said, I watched Batman v Superman again last night. Man of Steel is one of my it's top three favorite comic book movies of all time. Maybe even number one. I've watched that movie probably over 200 times. If you don't believe me, that's fine. But that is a fact. You could ask my wife. She can't stand that movie because of how much I've watched it. I have no doubt that this Batman movie would have been a lot of fun. Again, I love the Matt Reeves Batman movie, and I'm very happy we got it. I mean, I'd rather have that than nothing, um, which doesn't sound like a compliment, but I'm very happy we got that. Maybe it is better than the Ben Affleck one. But we're going to get Michael Keaton at some point if the Flash movie ever comes out. We're going to get him a Batgirl also. So let's also bring Ben Affleck in. He's going to be in the Flash. Let the Batman, Affleck, Batfleck, character live on let's see this movie so maybe the ploy here from keith christensen is to get traction on this batman movie to see if they have something going maybe this is step one in a long list of steps to get the batman the batfleck batman movie up and running let me know what you guys think in the comments below is this a movie you want to see or are you happy with what we got are you going to be happy with keaton's return let me know in the comments below Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like, give us a subs give us a like, give us a subscribe, and until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.